I have created a series about characteristics that you need to be a pastor's wife because for years I felt that I wasn't a good pastor's wife. And the reason why I felt like that because I am very introverted and also I'm not a preacher. And for some reason in the small churches, it's very common for the pastor's wife to be a preacher as well. So since I wasn't a preacher, I felt that I wasn't a good pastor's wife. And it was not until a couple of years ago, God started dealing with me. And he let me know that I was focused on the wrong thing. It wasn't so much about the outward appearance or things that I saw that a pastor's wife should do. It was more about my behavior more than anything. And he let me know that if you are a good wife, a good mom, a good homemaker, and you are a good example to women, that's all it takes. So if you are a pastor's wife and you're not for sure about how to be a good pastor's wife, what you need to do, what's your role, make sure to stay tuned and watch this series that I created. My goal is to help you focus on the right things so that you can bloom as a pastor's wife. You are going to have to have a love for church. And the reason why is because your whole life is going to be surrounded by church. It's going to be mostly about church. So you're going to have to love church. And I do believe that that is one of the main struggles of being a pastor's wife. It's important as a pastor's wife to be able to motivate yourself. There are going to be many days to where you're going to feel like giving up. And it's also going to be days to where you're not going to even feel like going to church. And all of that is normal. But even though it's normal to feel like that sometime, you have to train yourself not to stay that way. If you have that personality to where you are down a lot, it's going to be a hindrance to him and also to yourself. And the reason why it will be a hindrance to him because one of his main responsibilities is to encourage the members. It's going to be hard for him if he has to encourage you too. So you do want to have the type mindset to where you can motivate yourself. Being a pastor's wife, you're going to have to be able to adapt to changes. For example, every so often you may have a season to where you lose some members and when your membership gets low, that means that a lot of times that affect your funds. So you have to find ways to cut back. So you're going to have to have that type of personality too, to where whether your income is up or down, you're going to have to learn to be content. First Peter 3 and 3 says, your beauty should not come from outward adornments, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold, jewelry, and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. It's nothing wrong with fixing yourself up, wearing makeup, braiding your hair, because I like wearing braids too sometimes, but it's, you don't want that to be your main concern as a pastor's wife. You want to make sure that your heart is right, that you are a good wife, mom, person. I hope it was something that I said in this video that helped you as a wife. If so, leave a comment. If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. If you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, schedule a consultation with me on Candor. I will have the information in my description box below. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.